So today in this video, I'm going to take the things out of my garden, the bunny village, because I like to create my little villages and stuff and glue them all together and put them in the garden that way. So I've decided that that's what I'm going to do. So in this video, you see me here taking the stuff out of the garden and bringing it in the house and this is all the stuff we're going to use to make the little bunny garden today. It's all the stuff I've taken out of the garden so stay tuned should be fun. It's Sherry from Sherry's Fairies. Well, today I'm going to make, of course, fairy gardens, because it is Fairy Garden Thursday, hosted by Grandma Sandy. She's a great, great supporter of my channel. Thank you, Grandma. And there are other people that she gives shout outs to on all her other channels, and it's a great way to go and find things that you'd like to watch is just go to her channel and when she gives a shout out then you can find those creators and support them and they're really good good creators anyhow as you saw in my introduction i took things out of my fairy garden and when i was cleaning my fairy garden the other day i took the bunny daycare out and the board it was sitting on and i cleaned all around it and then i put it all back in well, I decided that's the easiest way to do it. So I decided to bring all my other stuff I have in the garden right now. And I'm going to make gardens and glue everything down. And then I can just take them out, weed, and put them back in. And then they'll just stay where they are. And I won't have to worry about the raccoons stealing things or the wind blowing over things. And I can add color there because I can put my artificial flowers and stuff on and I think it'll just be fun to do. So I decided that this is how I'm going to do all the fairies in and little bunnies and stuff in my garden and I think it's just easier that way and then your creations stay permanently unless you want to take them apart and do them over which you sure can. Anyhow let's get on with this video I'm going to make two fairy gardens to put back into my fairy garden outside. I'm going to do the bunny village and I'm going to do another one on a board with fairies on it and flowers and stuff and that will also go into my garden. So, should be a fun day. Here we go. Okay, the first thing I like to do is I like to cut the artificial turf out to fit the slab of wood that I'm putting the fairy garden on. And then of course I just glue it all down with lots and lots of glue. And pretty sure this will hold up outside. If you're worried about it, use your E6000 glue. And that should work well. I'm showing you the little barn that goes in the bunny fairy garden. It has cows and chickens and stuff in it. It's just a really cute little barn. So we're placing it towards the back of the garden. I think that's just where it fits the best. I found these little houses at a thrift store. They were pretty cheap, probably a dollar something each. So this is another, this is a little house and it has bunnies inside 
and the one bunny looks like he's rocking in his chair and then there's a mama bunny with a child and they're in the kitchen cooking. So here I'm just trying to decide where I want to place this little bunny house so that it'll look really sweet. Now this little bunny house, it looks like a little tree when it's closed up. But we won't want to close it up because it has bunnies inside. This little bunny tree has all kinds of cute things around the outside and the bunnies inside is the papa going to sit in his rocker and smoke his pipe and the mama's having a bath. So now we're going to decide where we're going to put this little bunny house. And okay, I've decided. Getting the glue on. Well, that's one little bunny house glued down. And here's the other one. I just thought these were so adorable I couldn't resist picking them up from the thrift store. Never knew that this is what I was going to make with them. But I just really like the little bunny. The little bunnies. Well, I went in my drawer and I found a few more things I could put in this garden. First off, I found these cute little fences. I mean, I knew I had them. I bought them at Michael's last time I went. So, I'm going to use them in this bunny garden. And it takes me a few minutes to figure out where I want to use them and how I want to use them. So I'm just going to let you watch the process. So I've decided to put this fence all the way around the little house. And I never thought about how they were going to get in. So when I did think about it, I picked that fence up real quick. <laughs> and I turned it around and put the opening to the front. And that's just how my mind work sometimes. I don't do it right the first time, but you can always switch it around. So I thought that was pretty good.
Okay, now we've got both the little fences up. And I'm just hanging on to it so it stays glued. And now I'm going to add some little goodies to the garden. And first off, I'm putting a little bale of hay right back by the barn. Got to have hay in the barn. And this is just a little red wagon. And it has stuff in the back of it. And I'm going to pretend that it's stuff to feed the chickens and the ducks and whatever else is in the barn. This is a little packet of seeds and it's uh, sunflower seeds. So we're just going to lean that right up against the fence for a little decoration. And I think that looks very cute. Trying to figure out if I should put a fence between the barn and the houses. But I decided, nope, don't need it. Just let the farm animals wander around. The house has got a fence around them, so they're protected. And we want our farm animals to just be happy. So now I've decided that we need some flowers around the houses. So I've come over to where I store my flowers. And I'm just picking through to see what I can find. And of course, I pulled some out and more came out with it. <laughs> That's just par for the course. But it was easy enough to stick back in my little carrier, so I'm quite pleased with this way of storing my flowers. And this bag is full of all kinds of tiny little flowers and stuff that I've already cut up and got ready to do, to use for other fairy gardens. So now we're going back to the table and we're going to start decorating with the flowers. Okay, the first bit of flowers I'm going to use, it's a pink lilac. And I'm just going to snip off little bunches. They're all on there in little bunches. And I'm going to glue this in around the house. And in the other house, I'm going to do sunflowers and stuff. So, I'm just going to let you watch how I do this and play a little music.
this is our little bunny village. I think it's pretty cute. And now it'll just stay like this until I decide I want to change it. Maybe next year, maybe the year after. And I will bring it in in winter. So, first of all, we placed all the little houses. Well, first of all, we put down the artificial turf. Placed all the little bunny houses. And we put the barn at the back. And with the barn, we've got a, a bale of hay and a little wagon with maybe some feed in it for the chickens and the cows. And we put little white picket fences around the houses and put some flowers in there to brighten it all up. And a pack of sunflower seeds outside of this house. So, this I feel will be a lot more enjoyable in my fairy garden when I go out to clean my fairy garden up. All I have to do is remove this and pull all the weeds around and then put it back in. Okay, we put the little we put the little bunny village back in, all done up, and I think it looks really cute in the garden. And I can just lift it out and weed around it. And it'll stay like that because everything is glued. Yeah, but that's what that looks like in the garden. I'd like to thank everybody who's here watching this video, especially if you lasted till the end. And I'd like to thank Grandma Sandy again. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please subscribe. And next week you'll see another fairy garden going into this part of my, into this garden. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.